Hello lovely Simmers, Simsy Claire here and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are starting um, a kind of a big project. So this is my Oasis Springs apartment complex. And this apartment complex was designed by the Sim we've kind of been working with this week, Zara Probst. Her house went up on Monday, her create a Sim went up on Tuesday. The house across the street from her, that's kind of like her show home for Oasis Springs, went up on Wednesday. And now as like a two-part build for today and tomorrow, we're going to be doing this apartment complex. And the idea behind this apartment complex was that this was the first thing that she created in Oasis Springs. The first thing she helped Joffrey with, she had this idea for this modern build because she had been initially working on another project with her ex and he ended up keeping that project when she came here to Oasis Springs so she had to kind of change up her idea a little bit but she was able to kind of still see her vision. If you've noticed these this apartment complex kind of looks similar to that in another world. If you can guess what world that is, let me know in the comments down below. I did do that on purpose just so you guys could kind of see the connection there between where her ex is currently working and where she is working. But the general structure for the exterior of this build is pretty simple. I mean, there's a couple of you know, architectural features that really get prominent when we do the actual wallpapers and the flooring just because I change up the textures a lot just because the theme of all of her builds or her entire house was like different textures and everything. I definitely thought she would try and bring that here into this um, apartment complex that she had created. And as you can see, we are using these debug planters. So for the longest time, I thought these were golf course pieces. I'm not gonna lie because I think it's Willow Creek. You can kind of see like a golf course in like the background. It's either Willow Creek or Newcrest. So I always thought that these were like putting greens for golf courses because I never played in Oasis Springs and then the more I started to play in Oasis Springs I was like oh wait no this is just how the rich people in Oasis Springs got their green grass in the areas where it was all desert so I decided to try and play around with these a little bit because this area of town where I put these apartment buildings actually has a lot of these planters because it is the more deserty area. So I was like, she definitely would want to bring in some green. She would want to bring in some of the plants from the surrounding areas, you know, make it look like the rest of the town. So I definitely wanted to try and incorporate that. And we're using a whole bunch of different shapes of them as well, some circular, some rectangles, some rounded. And then now you can see, so I did record this half of the video on another day. That's why the, the, the lighting is different because on that first day, it was just about getting the basic structure done. And then now that I was like actually playing with wallpapers and stuff, I wanted to be able to see what I was doing. So I did change it over to afternoon instead of morning lighting. And I think it just looked so much better, but I was having such an issue with the textures that I wanted to put in this build because I didn't want anything too stark or too like, I didn't want anything too major. I just wanted it to be one wood tone, one stone, and then one like plain because I wanted certain aspects of the build to stand out. And I really liked how this uh, Journey to Batu wallpaper looked on these more like jutting pieces because I thought that it was very reminiscent of like natural stonework and the natural pieces that you saw in the rocks surrounding the area because this lot in particular has a lot of natural landscaping on it. In fact, some of the screenshots for the pool area look directly over like this mountainside and you can kind of just see because there's no like built world behind it. It's all just like open concept what the Sims had as the like exterior landscaping. So I think that it's just such a beautiful lot to especially to put this type of a build on because definitely the people who are living in this apartment building are probably a little on the wealthier side, maybe not wealthy enough to afford like their own home or maybe they prefer apartment style living, but they are definitely a little bit of course, I say that, and one of the apartments is actually owned by a runaway teenager, but maybe she maybe she saves all her money from working, or maybe the uh, landlord, um, maybe Zara feels bad for her and feels for her, so she kind of helps her out a little bit. But you'll hear more about the Sims who are actually living in these apartments in my save file when we get to the interior build on Monday. This one is strictly just exterior and then the community areas of the build. So you'll you'll see that a little bit. I wanted this to be like an actual apartment complex. One of the things I think is missing from the apartment buildings in the game is like the community aspect of it. Like real life apartment buildings have gyms, they have pools. They have like laundry rooms and, and stuff like that and I've, I've always felt like that's missing from the ones in The Sims so I wanted to kind of incorporate that especially because since we can't build our own functional apartment buildings 
this has to function as an actual household, like a home. So it's a lot easier to incorporate those things if it's not a like rabbit hole apartment building. So that is another thing to keep in mind if you do download this in your game. Obviously, you'll have to play every single sim that lives in this apartment. That's why I, that's why I kept it kind of small. There's five apartments. One of them does come unfurnished if you want to move your sim into that one, or obviously you can move one of my pre-made sims out and move into one of the other apartments. It's up to you. But there is only five apartments in this, so I figured it'd be super easy to manage. You can also run it as kind of like a roommate style, so you could lock your sim's apartment for everyone but your sim, and then kind of, you know, quote-unquote, rent out the other apartments to roommates using the roommate function in the game that we got with Discover University. So that's totally up to you, but I did want to make sure that I reminded you guys that this would not function as an apartment building in the game. It does just function as a home, but I kind of liked the idea of making it an apartment building. I thought it was something kind of different. It helped kind of fill up the space a little bit and brought something a little new, a little edgy to Oasis Springs. And then in here, like I said, we are doing the community aspects of this build in this video. So this is kind of like the reception area. When you first walk in, there's someone probably sitting here like a security guard or a you know, like I said, a receptionist, maybe she's like showing the new, she's like the manager of the building, she's showing off the one apartment that is empty, she's explaining to you kind of the community feel of the place, how everyone works together, how everyone gets along, and the area is very, very modern yet cozy at the same time. There's a lot of seating areas, there's a lot of like rugs and natural lighting, and like natural elements such as the bamboo and then the textured wall that matches the one on the exterior. And I was trying to do a mix match of different furniture items. As you can see, I did start furnishing this after the 21st birthday update, so I do use a couple of the items we got with that. I really like the style of these. I did a whole room build on my channel. It was a, vi it was a short video, so it was only one minute long. It might have even been less than that, but you can find it. I'll link it somewhere in the video if you want to see me play around more with that furniture. And I do plan on doing, like, probably a whole house using it or something like that. Obviously, I can't furnish a whole house using only that furniture, but maybe I'll do another base game build so that way we can kind of bring that new furniture to the forefront. But over here, we are going to do another seating area, and I do use the new kind of side table that I think was made by Peacemaker. It's a very mid-century modern piece. And it has like these, yeah, this, these right here, it has these wooden legs and then this kind of like plasticky style um, drawer unit. And then in here is the community gym. So there's two treadmills, I think a punching bag, and then one of the like weightlifting machines. There might even be two weightlifting machines. I can't honestly remember. Um, yeah, there is two weightlifting machines. And I basically just did this because... A, I knew I wanted there to be community areas, like I said. Um, I wanted it to be a little bit more realistic, but also I had the space for it. This build was super big, and I didn't want to do like eight different apartments because A, I couldn't furnish eight different apartments. B, you wouldn't want to watch me furnish eight different apartments. And C, it would have just been a lot. So I decided to go ahead and do these community areas. This is like a community laundry room. Now, unfortunately, I did kind of forget, and I already put this... No, I haven't put it on the gallery yet. So I'll try and remember before I put it on the gallery, but I did forget to put laundry bins in any of the apartments except for one. So as of right now, everyone's dirty laundry from the apartments will go into that one Sims apartment. So I'll probably add one down here, if not one in every apartment, just to make sure that not all of the laundry goes into that one bin because the one bin that I put it in is actually an apartment rented by an elderly lady, and I don't think it's fair that she would have to do everyone's laundry. Um, but I will try and remember to go ahead and place some. If not, it's a super easy fix to just place some laundry. And obviously, if you don't have laundry day, then you can turn this room into something else. You can turn it into like a game room. You can put some arcade games in here and stuff like that, or maybe turn it into a movie room and put a TV. Um, it's a super easy fix if you don't have laundry in your game. I actually kind of kicked myself and because I kind of wanted to put like a ping pong table or something somewhere. So I was like, oh, I should have used that room for something else, but it's okay. 
I, I like the idea of having a communal laundry area anyway because then that way I didn't have to put one in every single apartment. And then in here is kind of like a, a bath, it, I mean it's not kind of like a bathroom, it is a bathroom, but it's a bathroom that I figured maybe people who were looking at apartments here could use or if you were like on your way out or on your way in or you were using some of the communal areas you could go ahead and use those bathrooms because obviously each apartment does have their own bathroom. but. There's also this communal one down here, and then right there you saw me decorate it real quick. That was the mailbox area. I'm not 100% sure how that will work in terms of gameplay because, I mean, the front door of the building won't be locked, so the mailman will be able to come in here and deliver the mail. But obviously each household will not be getting their own mail. It'll be one set of mail for every apartment. So I don't know if it's going to mess with the functionality of the game having like four mailboxes. I don't think it will because sometimes I've done two mailboxes and it hasn't messed with anything. So I think it'll be okay. But now we're on to the exterior communal area. And I really wanted this to be a an area where, pe where people could sit and enjoy each other and enjoy the company of the different people living here. There is at least one child who lives here permanently. One of the other Sims has a child on the weekends, which is a, not a fan favorite from the Sims community, but a classic Sims 4 character. Um, I'm giving them a child and I will tell you who that character is when we get to the inside. But I also figured there'd be this little community garden area where they could work together. I placed the swing set for the kids and then they have the pool slash lounge area as well. But besides that, that is it for this video. So I hope you all enjoyed this one. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you all next time. Bye!